Welcome to the Jason in the House podcast. I'm Jason Chaffetz, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the news. We're going to highlight the stupid because, well, you know what? There's always somebody doing something stupid somewhere. And then we're going to call up and talk to uh, one of my favorites around here in the Fox world that you may or may not know, Jimmy Thalia. And he's got a Fox News radio show. Um, He's been a stand-up comic, just a really highly entertaining guy. I cannot tell you where the direction of that discussion is going to go. But I tell you what, he's had a a series of life uh, events uh, that I think you're going to want to hear about. And he's just an all-around funny funny guy grew up in new york and you're going to want to hear about his uh his his version of life and things that he went through and uh, i just really look forward to, to giving him a call so stay with us on that but um i, I gotta tell you there is and this this almost qualifies for doing something stupid somewhere but uh i a, a few thoughts on the news Afghanistan is going to continue to be an ongoing problem, not only because we have Americans behind enemy lines and that they can't get out, and that at some point we're going to hear more about these horrific stories, harrowing experiences, and probably people that are going to not be able to survive along the way. And I don't know if there's going to be video or audio or just firsthand accounts. I, I worry that there are going to be an untold number of stories that we're just not going to hear. The State Department has not been clear with us as to how many people, because if you start to come up with the count, then you obviously know who and who is not there. Um I saw this story that was on uh, National Public Radio that uh, said that the Taliban is going to forbid women from playing sports. Now, obviously, they're not going to allow them to participate in the government. Um, I thought it was laughable at best, sad at worst to just have our United States State Department uh, express and feign exasperation that the idea that uh, the Taliban government apparatus is not going to have any women in it. I mean, what did they think was going to be? The Taliban has never been a champion or even an even acknowledged the role of women in society. It's highlighted by the idea that uh, they're going to forbid women from playing in sports. There was a translation done by SBS, and it said, this is from the deputy head of the Taliban's cultural commission. Okay, so they have a cultural commission there. And it said, quote, I don't think women will be allowed to play cricket because it's not necessary that women should play cricket according to the head of the Taliban's Cultural Commission. Now, that's their approach to human rights. That's their approach to balance. That's their approach to how they're going to treat women. Of course, they're not going to have anybody in the cabinet. What? Who did the, the Taliban put into their cabinet? They put the interior minister. And by the way, the interior minister is different than how we do it here in the United States. You know, the Department of Interior, the Secretary of Interior in the United States is dealing with like public lands, Indian affairs, things like that. A host of other, you know, very important responsibilities. But uh, an interior department there in a place like Afghanistan or others, Libya and whatnot, the interior, that's their essentially law enforcement. They're the ones that protect their homeland. They're the ones that enforce the rules and the laws. They don't have a Department of Justice. They have the Interior Department. And uh, who is running that? Somebody who's on the terrorist um, bounty list from the United States of America. I believe the number is $10 million that uh, the United States government has put up that if you are able to bring this person to justice, uh, you'll be paid... uh, Uh, $10 million. That's how bad this guy is. But that's now who's in place in running uh, Afghanistan. And to think that the Taliban is anything other than a terrorist organization, nefarious group of people who will have no regard for human rights. uh, It's just kind of disgusting as we, um, you know, uh, last uh, Saturday passed uh, by the 20th anniversary of 9-11. The other thing I want to talk about